How we doing everybody? My name is Brandon and I want to welcome you back here to my channel Smoking Flips. If you don't know me, I'm a part-time eBay reseller and I use this channel as a way to document my journey and then to take you along for the ride. Today I've got a little bit something different planned. Uh, it's a Wednesday. Normally I'm at work at my full-time job, but I took this week off of work. So we're going to go out and see what type of thrifting we can get into in the middle of the day and the middle of the week. I sat down last night with Google Maps and put this map together. Uh, we're going to try to hit up 9 or 10 Goodwills up on the northeast side of Indianapolis in the Noblesville, Carmel, and Fishers area today. It's a little bit ritzier area, a lot of money up in that part of town, so I'm hoping we can find some good name brand stuff, things that we can flip for a profit pretty easy and maybe pick it up sort of cheap. Sometimes that works out for you, sometimes it don't, so we'll have to just go out and see what we can come across. Come along with me and hopefully you enjoy the ride. Check out the videos and cassette type things. Generally looking for horror, uh, VHS tapes, anything blank like this one right here. That's 69 cents, so we'll pick that up. Uh, video games, I'm not seeing any good titles there. Now we're gonna go over here, walk through the clothes. Uh, mainly looking for shoes. I'm looking for Converse's, Vans, uh, Uggs, higher end shoes that sell pretty quickly and for decent profit when I go through the toys I just do a quick glance at the plushes I don't spend a whole lot of time with those unless I just see something that I think is valuable I go over here look for new things weird things uh, vintage toys I got a Halloween hand right here it's 99 cents I'm gonna pick that up pretty cool I continue looking down through here any puzzles, I don't buy them if they've been open. Uh, mostly board games, if they've been open, I won't buy them. I only buy things in the shrink wrap at the Goodwill. This little thing's pretty cool. That's a Harry Potter Mystery Cube. It's going for 99 cents. I'm gonna scan this real quick on my phone and see what it's worth. It looks like comps are about $20, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. We got an American Red Cross. That looks like an infant CPR dummy. Oh, let me check it out real quick. Yeah, it's a little infant CPR dummy. That looks all still new, still in the plastic. These things can be, bring pretty good money. It's four dollars and ninety-nine cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I always check out these little carts here. These are things that are freshly brought out that a lot of people haven't had time to pick over yet. Two Guitar Hero guitars for PlayStation 2 up in here. Seem to be in pretty good shape. Come around here and see what they are. Yeah, I'm gonna pick these up. These are in good shape. Yeah, some pretty nice Converse All-Stars here. Uh, they look to be in good shape, so we're gonna grab those. And we're gonna look through the clothes here at this Goodwill. These are electronic games right here sell pretty good usually. That's deal or no deal here. Take a look at it. Seems to be in pretty good shape. Uh, the battery compartment has got a screw in, so I can't really check the batteries, but it's pretty cheap, so I'm gonna go and grab this. Yeah. Smells like disappointment. Got some Converse All Stars up here. That seems to be in pretty good shape. I'll go ahead and grab these. Looking for any horror films. There we go. It's the Exorcist 25th Anniversary Edition. It's 99 cents. This should bring about ten dollars plus shipping at a minimum i would guess so i'm gonna grab it see if there's any more I 
I always check out the books over here for Bibles. I found this little handheld size Bible. Got a little snap on it. Pages look good. I'm not sure about your Goodwill, but our Goodwill Bibles are free, so I always take them when I can.
Got some little plug and play handheld games here. Uh, this is Disney Princess one. Usually these do pretty good. I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, we got this little Hello Kitty one. That's a plug and play game as well. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it too. These usually do pretty well for me. Got some camouflage hunting boots up here. Uh, it's getting close to hunting season. These are pretty good shape seem to be size four I think that's what size tanner is actually so I'm gonna grab these probably yeah and then if uh, they fit in we'll use them if not I'll resell them they should sell pretty quickly this is goodwill number seven for us today also hit a Salvation Army this has been pretty good store to me in the past so hopefully we'll find some good stuff let's get in here and see Converse right there. Perfect. It's a pretty nice bat right there. Not real familiar with the brand. Uh, Feel any dents or nicks or anything? I'm gonna have to comp this real quick. Tom's are pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Check out the toys now.
Got this little scenic game over here. I'll go ahead and grab this too. Those do pretty well sometimes. May have to go get a cart here in a minute. My arm's getting full. Got a nut parent approved card game here. It's won one of these recently. Uh, they're pretty good quick sellers, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. Rolled some stuff out, so we'll check this bin. Is that some Converse down there? Yep. Yeah. Real good shape. Take those two. Quite a good bit of stuff. This good will paid off for me again. So got one more to check after this. So hopefully we'll hit something. It's our last good will of the day, number nine. We'll see if they got anything good. They might have some decent baseball bats down here. Let's check these out. Yeah, I think I'll pick this up. See some converses back here. Yep, I'm in good shape. Take those two. There's another pair of converses over there. Grab these. Pretty good shape. Keep adding to the pile.
we're at it guys and gals uh, so we just left our last goodwill of the day we're heading home now I spent about four and a half hours out and during that time span I hit nine goodwill one Salvation Army store the majority of them were complete busts but we did find a few things and a couple of them should pay for the day and make decent profit on what we did find I believe next I'm going to be showing you the haul of everything that we got today so stick with me all right, so we're back home now from running around all those Goodwills today. Uh, here's everything that we bought. Uh, we got it's like six pairs of Converse All-Stars, uh, different ones. Those sell for anywhere between $20 and $30 on average. I think we paid 2 and $3 a piece for those at the Goodwill. Got this Wisconsin Badger uh, plush toy, paid 99 cents for that. And I'll probably list that for about $10 plus shipping. Got this little John Deere toy. Probably shouldn't have bought that. I'm not sure. I paid $2 for it. And I'll probably try to list that for about $10 plus shipping. See how it does. Got these boots right here for hunting. I uh, paid $2.99 for these, I believe. I think they're going to be tanner size, so that's the main reason I got them. So we need some boots for hunting, but if not, we'll list those up and easily double our money on those. Bought this deal or no deal electronic game right here. Paid $3.99 for that. That came out in 2006, and it should sell for about $10 plus shipping. Got three baseball bats. Got a Worth amp bat and two of these uh, distance bats paid $4.99 a piece on these two and I paid $2.99 for this one. I think they're all going to be in the $30 range plus shipping, so make me some money on those. Got these two little electronic plug and play games. Now this one's a My Little Pony, this one's a Disney Princess. Paid $2.99 for this one, $3.99 for this one. Uh, this one I think sold for about $15. This one was right about the same range. Picked up this Exorcist VHS tape, 25th anniversary for $0.99. Cents. That'll sell for right about $15 plus shipping. Get this little pocket Bible. Uh, it's fonded leather. Got a little button on it. Put in like a purse or something or in pocket. I'll list that for probably about $10 plus shipping. And I paid, actually I didn't pay anything for that. Bibles are free at the Goodwill. I got this blank VHS tape. Paid 69 cents for that. I lot it with a bunch of other ones that I've got. And some of them is a big lot. These are always good to pick up if you can find the name brand ones they always sell. I got this Travel Shut the Box game from 1984. Paid $1.99 for that. Haven't checked to see if it's complete or not, but if it is, it'll sell for about $15 to $20 plus shipping. I got this sealed trash game. Uh, which celebrity's trash are you drive diving into? Paid $7.99 for that. Sort of overpaid on that a little bit, but it is new sealed and it'll sell for about $30, so we'll still make decent money on that. This not parent approved card game. I've actually picked these up at garage sales before and just sold some of these recently. I paid $5.99 for these and I sell these for $30 plus shipping. So pretty good pickup there. I got this, I don't know what it is, some type of computer part. Some of you computer geeks may be able to pick that out. But I paid $1.99 for it. It was in the toy section. And this sells for about $20 to $30 plus shipping. Picked up this Cranium booster set. Uh, still new sealed. Pay $4.99 for that. And that'll sell for about $20 plus shipping. Got this sealed scenic game, ESPN Sports Edition. 
paid three dollars and ninety nine cents for that and that'll sell for about fifteen to twenty dollars plus shipping and lastly I got these two uh, PlayStation 2 wired Guitar Hero guitars paid two dollars and ninety nine cents for those piece and these I think I usually sell these for about twelve thirteen dollars plus shipping so decent pick up there and these you do want to make sure that the whammy bar is tight and everything's not just spinning around both of these were good so that's why I got them and if you get one that's wireless always check the battery compartment because sometimes the batteries will be corroded in there and then they're useless after that and I always pick these up whenever I get them and stickers are falling off that's okay that's everything we picked up today uh, no super home runs but it was a successful day like I said we hit total of 10 stores, thrift stores all together, nine Goodwills, one Salvation Army. All this came from Goodwills. We didn't get anything at the Salvation Army, but it turned out to be a pretty good day. I appreciate you sticking with me today. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already. Thanks for sticking with me.